Hello, today we're going to look at derivatives of inverse trig functions. If you want to see how they are derived, then you want to look at the book. So I'm just going to show you what they are for now, and then if you want to see the details of it, you can look in the section of the book. But we're going to look at three of the inverse trig functions, so the first one being sine inverse. The derivative of sine inverse is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. The derivative of cosine inverse is very similar. The only difference is that it's negative. And then the last one, the derivative of tan inverse, is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So we're always going to have these 1 over things that involve 1 and x squared, whether it's the square root of 1 minus x squared or it's just 1 plus x squared. So again, if you want to know why these are the derivatives, feel free to look through the book, but we're just going to use these as is. So we're going to do some examples. Let's differentiate sine inverse of x squared. So this is the chain rule. It's a function of a function. And we're going to start with the um, derivative of sine inverse. And then everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put an x squared. So I'm going to have 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared squared. And then using the chain rule, I'm going to um, multiply by the derivative of my inside function, which was x squared. And the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to have 2x on top. And then it's going to be divided by the square root of 1 minus x to the 4th. So remember, when I'm squaring something that already has a power, I multiply those two powers. So I'm using the fact that 2 times 2 is 4. Not that 2 plus 2 is 4 or that 2 squared is 4. That 2 times 2 is 4. It's a little unfortunate that I use 2 and 2. But let's try another one tan inverse of 1 over x. So again, I start with the derivative of tan inverse, which is 1 over 1 plus, in this case, 1 over x squared. And then I'm going to multiply by the derivative of 1 over x, which is negative x to the negative 2. Remember that 1 over x, oops, remember that 1 over x is x to the negative 1. So I bring down the negative 1 and then make it x to the negative 2. And then ne uh, x to the negative 2, remember, is 1 over x squared. So I'm going to be simplifying this, and I have 1 over 1 plus 1 over x squared times negative 1 over x squared. So I'm going to distribute my x squared to these two guys, and then I'm going to clean it up. And when I do that, I get something really nice. I get negative 1 over 1 plus x squared, which is just the same as differentiating negative tan inverse of x, which is kind of interesting. So I did a couple with the chain rule. Let's try one with the product rule. We have x times cosine inverse of x. So I'm going to start with u prime v. So the derivative of x is just 1, so I have just v, which is cosine inverse of x. And I'm going to add to it the derivative of cosine inverse of x times x. So remember, the derivative of cosine inverse is negative, so I have negative x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. I can't do anything about that um, simplification-wise, so it just stays the way that it is. So now I've got um, another type of chain rule. I've got tan inverse of x being squared, so a function being squared. When I differentiate that, I'm going to first think of it as a function being squared. So I'm going to bring down the 2 and then raise my function to the 1. So 2 times tan inverse of x. And then I'm going to multiply by the derivative of tan inverse, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Again, I'm going to simplify it a little bit and just put everything on top as 2 times tan inverse of x. And then divide it by 1 plus x squared. We've got a couple more that we're going to look at. Uh, tan inverse x times sine inverse x. So again, I've got a product rule. And I'm going to do u prime v. 
So V is sine inverse X. That's going to be multiplied by the 1 on top from the derivative of tan inverse. So I'm just going to put it on top to begin with. So sine inverse of X, that's U. V prime, uh, that's V, sorry, and U prime is the 1 over 1 plus X squared. And then I'm going to do something similar with V prime U. So U is the tan inverse X that's on top, and then the V prime is the over the square root of 1 minus X squared. And again, I've kind of already did the simplification as I wrote it, so I can't do anything more, and I just leave it the way that it is. For my last one, we're going to do the quotient rule. So sine inverse of x divided by cosine inverse of x. This is not the same as tan inverse of x. Okay, Tan inverse is not sine inverse over cosine inverse, even though tangent is sine over cosine. When I've got the inverse, it's something very different. So I'm going to start by um, u prime v. So u prime, 1 over root 1 minus x squared times v minus uh, v prime u. So remember, v prime was negative, so I have a double negative, so it becomes positive. So positive um, 1 over 1 minus x squared sine inverse of x divided by cosine inverse of x squared. And then I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. I've got the 1 over square root here, the 1 over the square root here. I'm just going to bring those down into the bottom. So that I have cosine inverse of x plus sine inverse of x divided by cosine inverse of x squared times the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so again, I'm just cleaning that up a little bit. Um, so try some of these out on your own. Look through the book, try the homework, and let me know if you have any questions.